We are coming to you live from Steeltown, Pennsylvania at the sold out Three Mile Island Stadium. There's nothing quite like playing in the scenic toxic nuclear waste dump. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The Nashville Lycans take on the Blitzburg Steelheads. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. everybody grim blitzrow here along with brickhead mulligan that's me and his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder bricks jr how about you shut the fuck up well played jr moving on First and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. First and ten. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. The defense better look out. The offense called the Beast Boost Dirty Trick. Shave a few days off his life. First and eight to go. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. You've got to catch that. And that'll bring up third and one. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Yay. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. First and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Down and 
The pucker is warming up. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big porn at John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. And the cornerback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. <laughs> Third down and ten. The drive was stalled, and here comes the field goal attempt. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just getting the points, and let's move on. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Oh, I love the murder ball. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. He's at the ten. And they're catching up. Joke, job, do something. They're going for two. He caught it. That's two points and even more momentum on their side. I can feel the momentum shifting. For the last time, you're not a Jedi, Bricks. <laughs> We've got a nail biter at the end of one.
When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Second down in a mile. Man, what a hit that was. And that'll bring up third down and seven. First and ten. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Second down and ten. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And that's a catch for three yards. Third down and, well, good luck. down does anyone have a rule book because that sounds like he's making stuff up uh, do we have a rule book it's propping up your chance you can reach the table without spilling your food idiot third down in the offense offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery QB is saying his prayers. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. Nice catch. Turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have to made it the dice grin. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> and he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak go! He's unstoppable! This guy's a brick sh- He is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down!
And it's first and ten. Oh. And they wow, he took like a thousand volts of shock there. They did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Borden, the ex murderer. Did the shock treatment work? Well, after she killed four of the doctors and zapped her, they never bothered her again. So, yeah, I guess it worked for her. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Nice hit. And it's first and ten. The bounce way dirty trick is always good for an easy kill. Second down and ten. This is your brain, and this is your brain on berserker drugs. As bad as that guy's brain. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. First and ten. <laughs> Nicely done for a first down. <laughs> the offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Ginormous dirty trick. Hey, so big that the last time he saw 90210. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. First down and three. <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Grim, can I kill him? It's about a three yard pickup. Second down and seven. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck. First down. See if they can get something going here. 
And it's for they've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. That's a six-yard gain on that catch. And that'll be... The quarterback burns his last time out. He can't stop the clock anymore. It might make more sense to punt here than attempt a field goal. This is way too long. And it's a miss. Looks like the QB had some issues with the ball placement. Spikes out. Spikes out. How many times do you have to tell that idiot QB to hold the ball with the spikes out? And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. And that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do that? And then Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of... And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Well, either that or kill and cheat more. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Briggs. This is going to get ugly fast. And that'll be a first down. You know, Briggs, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Second down and nine. And he runs it for four yards. Third down and five. First down! Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very long. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Third down and five. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done.
know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. Yeah, something went very wrong with that box away. What was your first hit? The lack of blood, everyone having all their limbs? Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. He took a big boost injection. Now wants him stop all over his opponents. I want to take a big boost injection, too. And now that has weird side effects, Bricks. <laughs> oh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. If you get one more bullshit pounding, you get one more for free. You'll also probably lose the game. Just do the attack ref's dirty trick. Second down, and, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down in a mile. Hot one, hot two. The offense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. Man, it's still edible though. Just gotta scrape off the charred parts. Third down and never gonna happen. Hot one, hot two. Friends was an all pro NFL hit. And out comes the most underrated position, in, and it's a fake punt. The offense taking a huge risk here. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. And it's first and ten. which will slice its way through any defensive. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. The 10. Touchdown. And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that unless it's Cooper cool night at Taco Hell. He has better footwork though than me on a kind of not clenching his cheeks, though. <laughs> point attempt. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. fighting for 
for every yard. And it's first and ten. Like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Glenn. Yeah, bigger than yours. And he runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Ah, oh, those are just my balls. Hey, thanks for sharing, Bricks. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. <laughs> and it's first and ten. It's a brutal hit. <laughs> and that'll be second and eight to go. First down. This guy just loves to hit people as hard as he can, Grim. I don't even think he knows what a first down is. And it's first and ten. that joke, Grim. The only low-hanging fruit is on that ginormous... And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. Holds him to a four yard pickup there. <laughs> Second down and six. <laughs> and he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. That's a four-yard gain. Second down and six. And he runs it in for the touchdown. At some point, they're going to need to put this rip out of his misery. Uh, how about now, for instance? Here's a hit. Dirty tricks attack the ref. Second down and long. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Second down, and we've got to pick up. 
have at least half of this. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. First down and one. Second down and five. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Like a two foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> when you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a compliment. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. The defense just blew up a player who thought he was going to score. <laughs> oh, that hot potato dirty trick gets him every time. Catch and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Third down and long. Oh, man, the defense brought a sack lunch today. Hey, hey, don't eat him. Not until he's cooked. <laughs> man, this coach must have played too many video games. You got to punt it here. Come on. And they get stopped cold. Hey, Grim, remember what I said when Briggs wanted to bring in a fish buffet in our tiny air seal broadcast booth? I believe that was. Who could have thought that was a good idea? Yeah, just checking. I'm thinking that again. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the punishing hit. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, 
Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Second down and ten. And he's off to the races. He's had Somebody get that guy a beer because he just saved me a thousand bucks. The defense calls their first time out to save some clock. I save clocks too, Grim. My wife hates them. They take up the whole garage. Wait, what? You're married? No, uh, it's complicated. And he picks up maybe four on that play. A timeout is called by the defense to stop the clock. They have one remaining. Second down and five. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. The defense calls their last time out. I don't know if they can pull off a win, Glenn. Why is that, Bricks? Eh, just a gut feeling. It also might be that porterhouse I ate for breakfast. How are you still alive? Drugs. You know how it goes in this league. Well, surprise me, he made it look easy and he gets three points for it. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. You know, this berserk dirty trick ain't fair to the QB. It's like inviting an ant eater to an ant convalescent home. Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling? First and four. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. Now, this reminds me of a lap dance I had by a skeleton once. Oh, yeah, after the mayhem ball event club six feet under. Yeah, my wife could smell the bun there on me when I got home. Big trouble! Here we get out of it. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinner. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step from Taco Hell. The onside kick's the desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. Stealing ain't right, Glenn. It just ain't right. He broke free and has open field in front of him. The Blitzburg Steelheads go down in defeat. And let's go down to the field and hear the MVP. He's a real role model for the kids, Bricks. That is, if you want your kids to be a roid raging narcissist with uncontrollable verbal diarrhea. Well, that personality disorder has a name. It's called autotrophism. <laughs>
once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microheart Corporation. They get it right every up.